I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitRefill.com, your one-stop shop to live on Bitcoin and Lightning. They've got all the best gift cards, things like Amazon, Apple, Best Buy, Airbnb, Uber, and much more. You can even do hotel bookings, you can do all of your travel, and you can now grab prepaid MasterCards as long as you have a US address that you can input. Check them out today, BitRefill.com, links are down below to sign up now. When, when the banking crisis started, I was thinking of in terms of is it inflationary, is it deflationary? Because, you know, when money gets destroyed, it's kind of not like physics. It doesn't really have to go anywhere because price is just like where the last, you know, marginal seller met the marginal buyer. And mm -hmm. people do kind of think of it like as if there's energy or there's a quantity of fluid that has to be preserved. But really what happens is we have real productive goods and that's a real thing. Like there's a quantity of stuff out there like oil or wheat, but, but wealth, there's an illusory quantity. And during one of these deflationary episodes, just like everything is collapsing. And I remember I learned this lesson the hard way in 2007, 2008, when my instinct was to buy commodities in gold as the market was crashing. And I did. And then I just watched them plummet like further and further. And the only thing people wanted was liquidity in the crisis because mm -hmm. debt was collapsing and there was no trust in anything. And so what did everyone flee to? Like the dollar. And then everything else followed, right? Like stock market exploded, once there was a full like contraction, everything exploded after that. But initially it was just like everything fell. And it would not surprise me if if Bitcoin had that sort of, you know, acted like gold did during a deflationary contraction. I think what's different this time, people realizing that they don't have money in a bank. We talk about dollars as if they're the same, whether it's cash or whether it's a deposit you have at Wells Fargo. But the deposit at Wells Fargo is just a promise. And you don't have dollars in the bank. There's no such thing. You know, what you have is a promise. And then you've got this FDIC promise, which is also not backed. And so rather than sort of being in the, is it inflationary, de deflationary? And I know there's complications because I read your stuff, James, uh, that, you know, what we're really thinking about is inflationary is the response to this in order to handle our debt during a deflationary episode. We're going to create inflation, right? But will that on net be inflationary? I, I don't know. But what I did see that special was that the light, at least for some people, the inside outside money thing clicked where they, for the first time, realized that a savings account is just a promise to pay from the bank and nothing more. And that that promise wasn't necessarily good. It sort of depends on what the bank has done. In a way, it was like the realization that people had in crypto who were into, uh, you know, Celsius and Voyager and so on, where they were like, oh, I've got my Bitcoin, like earning interest. I've committed it for a, a quarter and I'm getting 5% or BlockFi or whatever. And then uh, suddenly it's like, where did my money go? And it's mm -hmm. kind of like, it's that physics picture. Well, it had to go somewhere. No, it didn't. All you ever had was a note. There was a bet made on your behalf. Your money isn't anywhere. It never really was. Now people are realizing that not just in the crypto land, but in bank land. Now it's like, okay, that's the thing that makes me bullish about Bitcoin long term rather than, you know, the supply of money. It's the realization that self-custody is very, very different from, you know, custodying somebody else. But more than that, uh, it's not just self-custody, but... Uh, that, you know, an obligation or an IOU is fundamentally different from a bearer asset. How do you avoid that risk? And there are precious few ways to do it. And Bitcoin is the best of them, right? So